What's going on today guys? If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you to Iron Antler Adventures. Today we're going to do a little bit of magnet fishing. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video, to like, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe guys, it updates you to the newest videos that I got out there. And it's free, don't cost a thing. So we're going to get the camera strapped on and do a little magnet fishing. Alright guys, my wife's already beat me to the punch. I had one of my viewers comment about me not wearing gloves, so... I'm going to wear gloves for a little while, see how that works out. I know they'll save your hands, but I'm not the biggest fan of gloves. Here we go. We have never been to this spot before. I try looking up and finding different spots to go to. See if we can find a new place that's just loaded. Most of the time, you don't find anything. I can see several rocks down in there. Off to the side, you can't see off in the water. So hopefully we don't snag on a rock and maybe we'll find lots of treasures today. There is some current here, depending on how smooth the bottom is, whether stuff washes on down or if there's some rocks, at least it'll catch stuff and hold it in a spot. And they're ready to pull it up. My wife's got something on the first throw and I think I have something. Her item's a lot bigger than mine. But she cheated, she threw first. It's like a piece of a old can, guys. Let's go see what she's got. <laughs> Good job, dear. I'd say that's off of a bridge or something. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments what you think it goes to. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this bridge. The wife and I throwed for about another 40 minutes. Never found anything else. It's odd we caught the only thing we found on the first throw. So we'll see you at the next bridge. All right, guys, here we are at another little off-the-wall bridge. We're going to give it a couple throws, see if we can come up with anything. Another place I have never been before. That last bridge was a disappointment after catching something on the first throw, the wife and I both, then it went to nothing. I was really expecting more than that after we started off with a find on each throw. I can see some fencing off in there, so I gotta be careful where I throw. I don't wanna hang up on that. It's washed out. But maybe there's something here. This bridge has been here a long time, it looks like. I don't see nothing. We'll give another throw or two and then move on to the next bridge. I'm not sure what it is. Not exactly sure, guys. If anybody knows what that is, let me know down in the comments. I think that's going to wrap it up for this bridge. I think we're going to move on to another one. And just keep moving until we find a good one. All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me over the waterfall, but this is just some of the places that the wife and I come across when we're out magnet fishing that we can't get on uh, the video because there's just no place to magnet fish. That's another reason you need to sign up and, and uh, like us on Facebook because she's going to start posting a lot of these pictures of these places like this that I don't get in the regular videos. So be sure to like us on Facebook, guys. All right, guys, here we are back at uh, the old train bridge we were out here a while back. It was built in 1926. The water's up and moving a little more, so hopefully we can find some more goodies.
to not get our magnet stuck. I know there's some big rocks in here. Been here that long, there's graffiti all around this place, so there should be more than just railroad items in here. Hoping we can come up with something. There's lots of big rocks, so it's hard to tell if you have anything or not. Well, we got something. I'm not sure. That almost looks like maybe it went into a telephone pole. The thing about it with that moving water, I don't have to worry about ice. And I got my magnet stuck, so I'm going to have to try to get that unhooked, guys. Alright, guys, I think I got it loose. We're going to see. I got it to move anyway. There's mud on them rocks, and that makes it slick. Nope, we don't got nothing. I think it just hung on one of them big rocks that hides in here. Feels like something on there, guys. May have just come off. Yeah, nope, we got something. Oh, railroad spike. I expected that, but last time we were here, we only found one. What is that, guys? I'm not sure. I guess it's a... I really don't know. I don't know if there's no piece of a brake off of a train car or what it is. It's pretty neat, whatever it is. Somebody knows, be sure to let me know. Got something. <laughs> Piece of barbed wire. We've got something almost every throw. Got another one of those things, guys. If anybody knows what those are, let me know down in the comments. It almost looks like it has a seven or something on the head of it. I'm not sure. Say I've never caught one before, and now today I've caught two. Got something guys, if we don't lose it now on these rocks. Ugh. We got two things guys. Got a railroad spike and another one of these bars that's threaded on both sides. That second one of those I found in here, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can even like us on Facebook. Until next time, beard out.